If I, I give advice to anybody, I would say find out whatever your passion is, if you can work in it, and whether your passion would be the theatre or, or music or architecture or whatever it is, that's what you should work in. Now, a lot of us have a genuine passion for sports, so therefore it doesn't feel like work. I mean, my wife is absolutely convinced that I don't actually need to go to all the sports events, but I think you do, and you have to go out and, uh, and find out about the business of sport. But, but the, you're absolutely right, the media landscape is changing radically and in many ways and particularly in the agency world you have to reinvent yourself because it's there's an inbuilt redundancy in what you do if you're an agent because very often you're showing other people how to do it and how to exploit new rights and then those federations or rights holders will go and do it themselves and I think we're seeing a lot of people now a lot of federations and rights holders are taking uh, what they're doing in-house so uh, it's, a, it's very interesting I mean and the other big change in the landscape is that probably the involvement of capital markets in the sports business. A long time ago when I worked for Mark McCormack and there was ISL, these were just big agencies who were working in that space. Football clubs weren't public companies. Now it's a very different, uh, very different if you look at what's happening with um, Bridgepoint and venture capitalists in, in uh, floating companies like Perform that I was involved with floating on the stock market. It's a very different, um, very different uh, commercial environment.